I pulled my string out. But I'm back. Hanging out and more music. Just doing some grooving. Grooving in the afternoon and more music. Playing some nice guitars. Yeah. That's all I got. That's all I got. Audience. We'll be right back. Goodbye. Fred Molzer, Bosco <laughs> France. From France Molzer. You may France know Molzer. You uh, may know band. us from our Simon and Garfunkel cover group. We do that and we occasionally throw in a uh, uh, a, um, a monkey song or two. I, uh, last Train to Clarksville is my jam. You know what sucks about <laughs> Vietnam? No <laughs> shit. Really no is. Boop. No poop. No, no poop. poop. No no PG thirteen poop. No no uh, no emoji poo here. <laughs> no emoji poo. Well, let's tell them about these, dude. All right, I just got to play this guitar. It's I have seen this guitar, one like it, in a book called The History of PRS, and it was the first guitar in the book because this is the guitar that started it. Yeah. So, yeah. If it looks like the guitar in your PRS book. Exactly. Exactly like that guitar. It would be because Brett was like, hey, Paul, you know, I don't think I've ever seen any more of these. I want to build, you know, a couple of these. He's like, we can't because we don't have the parts. He said, what if I find the parts? <laughs> and so the last year and a half, Brett, and I found out this out doing this, uh, Brett has been looking for these. These are Quan, I, uh, a special bridge, a Lee Quan bridge, very hard to find. And that's what was on the first one that Paul took to the gig in 76 that Peter Frampton was at. Peter was Frampton was like, hey man, I want one of those. And Paul was like, well you can't have this one, but I'll make you one. I'll make you one. And that's what he did. And this was what he got. Um, things I'd like to point out, this is not a private stock. This is, it is a private stock. Yeah, but you, how are you gonna find one of these? <laughs> well, I they don't have, You can get one of these made without a bridge. Yeah, then it's not the same. It's not the same. But yeah, so we, because we did it and we committed to it, we are the only ones that are allowed to do it. So there's only six in the world. Now six there's only five because one's at my house. And one of these may be missing. Come see it at Boca Lounge now. I'm not saying I'll have it. <laughs> it might end up there. It might be there. I cannot uh, stress as being a PRS guy since the 90s. I've always loved them. How unique this feels it still has all the quality and all the the appointments of a prs but the neck's just different it is it joins it the body like at the end of the neck the neck tendon goes all the way the reason that this beautiful little uh what is that inlay, inlay rosette, rosette. Kind of thing. look at that look a at rosette that. on an I electric love that guitar band. rosette she's got the look that was a good band <laughs> wait that was a rock sale, wasn't come it? on man sorry sorry I'm back. I'm back. All right. You are. Fist bump, make it explode. All right. But the neck tendon goes all the way under the pickup. And I put a pickup in my guitar today, and they still do that. So I'm really glad. That's one reason I think the PRS, you go to the neck pickup, man, it's thick like a bologna sandwich. Dude, it is. Like it's got, thick bologna. It's got, it's got gravy on it. You know what I mean? A bologna sandwich with gravy just sounds. Doesn't it sound good? It sounds wonderful. <laughs> uh, birds are a little different. We talked about this earlier. Uh, the birds. Paul's mom was an avid bird watcher, took his brothers and his sisters to the museums. They'd listen to bird calls, all this kind of stuff, read bird books. And so he's fascinated by birds and I, I, maybe dragons too. I don't know, but birds first. They both fly. This was the, oh, beautiful. Dude. Oh. It's just a, I'm assuming that it's just the dragon is a more aggressive Winged bird, creature. winged creature-ish. Yes, oh. good job on that. I want to, I want to name you. I want a flightless bird. <laughs> <laughs> kidding, kidding. Yeah. No, uh, the birds are a little different. Neck width's different. I would definitely. We were talking about this. Me and the guitar guys in the shop. It's definitely a D. By that I mean the front is flat, and the back is not too round. It's, it's a. Uh, it's kind of like that. It's I a mean, soft D. It's a soft D. Doesn't have the big squared off corners. Yeah, like the balut's really nice on the neck too. And yeah. uh, you've got, uh, well, you got some autographs back there. You got Woo. Paul and Paul. And it's Brazilian rosewood. Brazilian on the rosewood. That's, yeah. If you're going to have rosewood, that's a good one to have. Brazilian. Brazilian. 
But the, you know, the, the, so the story of this thing was I'm sitting at the factory and I said, I want to build something that like a true PRS fan would dig. You know what I mean? Like, okay, yeah, you can get the dragons, you can get the modern eagles when they come out, you can get all that stuff, but can you really get a, a true recollection or reissue or whatever you want to call it, an exact everything. What he was doing then. Yeah, and it's, uh, I wanted to, it to be like a time machine. When it you is grab just things it, to say, really. It, it, you, it's like you're back and you're like Paul's friend and he built the guitar for you. You know what I mean? It's, you're like, he's in his garage and you come over and you see, oh, what is that? And he's like, it's a guitar I'm building. And, and I, uh, other guitars of similar, there aren't any similar to this, but other guitars he's made of one offs of the other one have been pretty sought after, but I've never seen this one. That's why it's so wild that you were the first person. It's pretty wild, you know, in 40 years, you were the first guy. It's like, I want that. I yeah. want what you started with. So I'm going to play it a little bit. I'm going to play through the clean. Well, let me say this before you start playing. Yeah. One person that I wanted to hear play this was you, because I wanted you to get your slide on it, for one thing. Okay. I wanted to, I wanted because it's got that raw, like, straightforward, kind of unadulterated, grungy it, it's, bite to it. Sounds like the pickups are going straight to the output jack. I'll say, if you ever played a guitar with no volume, knob, where it's just wired straight up, like... It's just one louder, so it's just a little crispier. It's it goes and, and, to uh, twelve. So like a, so this is just straight up amps set pretty nice, but it's very spanky. You know, like if I wanna. So it's very good for that, like, and that's it's twenty four fret humbucker guitar. I don't know that I would think it was going to be that spanky. Yeah. You know, like a... <laughs> so it's got that, so when you put a little dirt on it, you can... Uh... Neck pickup. It does, man. And uh, I saw a comment, how come they only play blues and rock? Because that's all I know. <laughs> um, now, um, Do you want to hear us play well, classical? Well, that's 24. You don't. Um, I think it just means like, does it take distortion? Does it, I get it. This thing takes a, uh, it takes a nice, uh, So it'll do that, and so you you know it, it's sonically it's pretty wild, and it doesn't have all the, it's before taps Debauchery. and, and uh, split coils and stuff. It's a pickup, it's a knob, it's a switch, it's a knob, and I like that. That simple layout. Yeah, very simple. That's what it's about. And the strings go through the body. I think we mentioned that this bridge was set up so that. It maximum transfer to the body, and that's you know sustain and going things forward. of that nature. And the uh, this is kind of dug out in there, almost recessed, like uh, a tremolo mic. Yeah, to get it low enough to get the right string angle. Yeah. So, but it's but the cool thing, you know, like Paul got these, you know, what was considered an amazing bridge back then, and it's supposed, you know, there are holes in here for this to be a wrap around, like a proper yeah. wrap around. But he was like, man, I just I want to I want this thing to be a, a a through a string through you know through the body so that's where this thing came in and it's it's like you can see like the development of the prs guitar oh yeah because you see like oh i'm doing this but i got to do this to make this work south american mahogany brazilian rosewood yeah you gotta it's, do it's just and guitars just, been around the world already people hey mm. i can't say sure enough already. about it uh if I were you and uh, you're planning a trip around, come down to Indiana, it's Crossroads of America. <laughs> um, it's a more music in Evansville. And check one out because the neck car, the, the car was done by hand and then transferred over to the other guitar. So this was actually 
The first one, so we had, so the, the timeline of this thing was, I went into Paul's office, had a powwow with him, told him we wanted to do this. And then he was like, man, that's cool as hell. Thank you. I'm honored by you wanting to do this. It's a cool idea. Let's get it on. So he's like, and I said, well, one of the things I want you to do is I want you to carve the first neck. So like, boom, he did it, got it just like this. And then they used the original, and we've got pictures of us at the vault, the PRS, the private stock vault, where we've got the prototype of these, it's not any of these because they, they ended up slashing it and cutting it up because it wasn't yeah. right. Um, and then the original, the, the, the original, yeah. original that's in the, in the catalog or in the, uh, the book, the PRS book. And the vault now. Yeah. It's in, it's in the vault. So we compared them, and it's like we got all this footage and we've got all this stuff and, and all the, the attention to detail. I told, you know, Paul Miles that every time they'd come to me and say, hey, you sure you don't want to do this to make it a little more modern? I'm like, no. The answer will always be no. I want it to be exactly If it was good enough like, for Peter Frampton. Well, and... You know what I mean? Like, if, yeah. I know people... Uh, I've had the pleasure of, of you doing that, of, of knowing Paul a little bit. And yeah. Paul's mind operates if he thinks something can be a little better. That's where he's going. Yeah. And for me, some of the things that PRS have done through the years, I was fine with. You know, yeah. like the certain tuning keys. I'm not saying to <laughs> aren't improvements I don't agree with them. My my favorite pickups are older pickups. Sure. And so. Well, my favorite are the HFS. Yeah, we talked about yeah. that. And then these are really just wound for, like, oh. stardom. Yeah, they're really. Uh, <laughs> I mean, we went through clean. You had to, you had to think like, what was There's Paul what? thinking when he built this guitar? He's like, I'm gonna take this thing and I I'm gonna to give it to these garage. heavy hitters. <laughs> He's like, the thing's gotta look good, but it's gotta sound amazing. That would be can you, like, hey man, hey Peter Frampton, check out my guitar I made. Because like, I wonder if a lot of people <laughs> yeah. do that. You gotta have you know? a lot of balls to do you that. You have to have a Paul. Well, let it be said that Paul is, uh, he's got waybos. Those Huevos eggs. Rancheros. Ooh, ooh. That sounds delicious. You eating yet? Okay. Let's go head over to some place that's got Rancheros, man. Rancheros. Ah, Nuevo number nine for your finest in Espanol cuisine. I, um, uh, getting back to it, just the headstock's just wild. Balances really well. Oh, there's my mic. Whoa, whoa, how'd that get down there? <laughs> but. Just to top in on the pickup. Is <laughs> that cat again? Let's not get into that. Yeah, yeah. That hey, I'm all about a tone pot. Pot. <laughs> pot. Potentiometer. Pot. Potentiometer. Pot talking about pot. There's two potentiometers. Pots. What are you talking about? Pots. I'm not. Oh, so You brought it up. So anyway, if you want to... Hang out with two idiots, come on down to more music. <laughs> <I'll put it. laughs> but if you want, like, the ultimate collector's item, uh, other than buying the original, which it's not for sale, this is it. This is exactly the same. I've played the original 50 times in the vault. And in the pro and in the the secure locker area where all the cool old stuff is, and this plays just like it. There's nothing different. It plays just like it. Five of them left. What's but people are like like buying like they reissue the '86 or the '87. That's a thing. Like mm. get a throwback. Is this the throwback? 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 Yeah, this is like throw this is the Frampton throwback to the rear. This is throw Frampton from the train. <laughs> wait, no, no, wait, no. <laughs> He's on his last tour, right? I just uh, He was just playing uh, the Blues Cruise, is that right, I think? I think, was he on Bonamassa's Blues Cruise? I saw Probably. some footage of something. Like next week. I think he lives down there too, or he did for a while. Hope Peter Frampton's doing well. What an amazing guitar player. And man, if not for Peter Frampton, we might not have PRS. In the, yeah. in the way we do, so. I mean, Frampton and Santana. And Nuge, Nuge got on early. Yeah. Ah. I was looking at my free for all album. <laughs> this is a true story. And you open it up and it says, Thanks to Paul Smith <laughs> for a custom guitar. Well, let's wrap it up. Wrap it up. I'll, I'll take, take it. it. All right. That's what. Um, 
Uh, the another way to get sued, yeah. Uh, actually, Sam and Dave song. That it, well, right, yeah, but did they redo it? Yeah, 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 I had a hit with it. Yes. And this guitar predates the Thunderbirds. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think they're 78. So, like you said, there are 50 of some runs. There are only six of these. There's and six nobody of these. can make them again except us. So, this is the real deal. This is stepping into a time machine and showing up at Paul's garage and saying, I, I want a guitar. I say these guitars did. are for a select, a select audience. Yeah, uh, people absolutely. who. I had said I'm a PRS fanboy. I am. Yeah. It's the, the guitars I love. I, I've met the yeah. guy. I think he's really smart, and he makes good guitars. And he was making great guitars then, too. Yep. They're just different. Yep. And, uh, you know, that's... I mean, buy a modern eagle, do all that, but if you really want something special, this is it. Well, modern eagles will come up, I'm sure, for sale and stuff, because there's, you know, new ones and used ones, and they yeah. still make them. This guitar has, this guitar has been out of print since '76. So. '76, he says. And that to it you? It is right. I'm it's just 76. messing with you. I'm messing with you. Why you gotta but do that? I, I like red messing. Stuff, You're so, man. You do it to me, and I like. Doing you do it, it to me. You. Let's do it to each other. Mm. Off camera. All right. <laughs> More music. <laughs> I'm that kind of girl. <laughs> and I'm that kind of guy. Whoa, hey. Anyway, so moreguitars.com. Thank you all for stopping and listening to our uh, our banter, whatever you want to call it. But we're here to help. We're here to get you the cool stuff. And we brought you the cool people to show it off. So I was just hanging out, collecting change outside. I got a little sign, a little work for cardboard. Mm -hmm.